A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each one of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your Spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God, who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many, are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Gospel of John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. This Sunday is the Solemnity of Pentecost, the Feast of the Holy Spirit. Last week we heard that before Jesus ascended into heaven, he had promised to send the Holy Spirit to be with us. After he went to heaven, he kept his promise. When the Holy Spirit first came to the church, the apostles heard wind, saw tongues of fire, and received the sudden gift of languages. The Holy Spirit comes like wind because it is the life that God breathes into us. It is wind because it pushes us toward the truth and toward God. Wind is strong and powerful, like a tornado that we can't control. This power changes us when we say yes to Jesus our Lord. The Holy Spirit comes as tongues of fire because it burns. It burns away our sin and anger. Fire gives us light to show us the way. 
When the Holy Spirit lives in us, it helps us understand who God is and who God wants us to be. The Holy Spirit comes as language because language is sharing. We can use words to share ideas and feelings with other people. The Holy Spirit is the shared love between the Father and the Son, is an expression of the truest and greatest love that exists. We all want this love. We all share in this love as we share it with others. On Pentecost, the Holy Spirit filled the apostles as they told people from all over the world about Jesus, the man who was God, who was crucified and rose from the dead. Everyone who heard the apostles was amazed because each person heard them in his or her own language. The apostles are doing the work that Jesus told them when he said, As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When we choose the Holy Spirit at Mass and in the sacraments and in our daily lives, it helps us become more like Jesus. We learn to speak like Jesus, to act like Jesus, and to love like Jesus. Our hearts are filled with divine life and love that can't be taken away. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also support this channel on Patreon, an online membership platform using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.